Hi there, I'm Frank and this is a wine. Let's drink it together. Uh, I got a wine that should be pretty familiar, you know, if you're a wine lover. Uh, this is a Bordeaux, a very famous Bordeaux, Leoville Proferé uh, from St. Julien. This is uh, an, an obviously from the left bank, 2014. Uh, this is a second growth. Um, yeah, let's see, you know, how this wine is. Also, I'm going to try out a new scoring system. Uh, no promise that it would be any good, but I thought that, uh, you know, at the end of the day, you know, it's, um, it's just opinion, right? Whatever I'm gonna say, it's just my opinion, but whatever is interesting, is also just opinion. I mean, everything else doesn't seem to be as interesting. So, well, let's see. Uh, what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do and trying it out with all of you guys is that um, I'm going to I thought about this a lot and I thought um, every wine uh, should have uh, eight categories or aspects that I think uh, are important to that wine and I know this is gonna be a lot of information I'll just put it in the description so uh, I think a wine doesn't matter if it's champagne uh, a red wine white wine young wine old wine doesn't matter what it is, I think it should all have uh, these uh, eight aspects. Uh, so complexity, I think it's imp important. Intensity, uh, the concentration of a wine. Uh, purity, uh, that's an expression of uh, the fruit profile. Uh, focus, you know, how precise and tight the wine comes across. Uh, refinement, that could be polish or elegance. Uh, persistence, that's the length of a uh, uh, a finish of a wine, uh, balance, all the components of the wine, does it come together? And lastly, uh, I have it, you know, for resonance, and this is probably the most, uh, I don't know, you know, uh, you know, woo-woo kind of a category, but for me, I think wines, um, you know, uh, there's, a, there's a sense of uh, living, you know, thing uh, with good wines, and when I think about what that means is that there's a natural resonance, a vibration that actually comes out of it. Like I said, it's the most woo-woo out of the, the, the eight aspects or categories. And what I decided to do is, um, you know, I'm just gonna grade it very simply uh, out of, um, uh, from, you know, uh, out of six point scale. So six would be uh, great, five would be very good, four would be good, three would be average, two, would be bad and one would be very bad and uh and at the end i'll just add it up i know it's uh very very confusing because it's you know eight categories six points each that's uh 48 points so the maximum points is 48 it's it's a frank score the maximum any wine can get is 48 points uh probably no wine will get that but um well let's see let's take it for a drive here we got a 2014 chateau level parfait um, and uh, let's see what this thing score on the, the Frank score. So there's the wine. Um, 2014, just really quickly, is a, a bit of a classic vintage. What does that mean? It just means it's slightly cooler. Certainly when you compare it to 2015 or 2018, um, you know, the wine is going to be, uh, it's a cooler growing season. So it's going to show a little bit more lift, a little bit more tartness, a little bit more acidity. Well, let's see if that's true. So let's see uh, what's on the nose. Yeah, gorgeous, um, beautiful, uh, very, very classic, you know, uh, uh, Bordeaux right here. You know, I get uh, really uh, gorgeous, ripe uh, blackberries. Also, that sense of uh, cassis, uh, a little bit of cherry liqueur. But there's also, you know, because of the vintage, it's slightly cooler. I also get a bit of a lift right there. You know, I kind of describe it as a, a bit of a raspberry, a little bit of red fruit action right there but rich nonetheless. So perhaps like raspberry jam almost, but there's a sort of, a, you can, on the nose, there's a bit of a tartness and acidity there. Quite interesting. But beautiful, um, there's quite a bit of um, a savory note to this wine. It comes across um, it's, with, a, with a sense of minerality, perhaps with a little, little sense of salinity. Get a little bit of smoked meat right here, not so much, but just a little bit. And um, hints of uh, pencil box, sometimes left bank Bordeaux, 
obviously from Poyak especially can go into that pencil lead right there. I get a little bit right here, just hint, just a hint. But overall on the nose, there's a good sense of uh, lift, you know, so yes, you know, you get that, you know, mixture of black fruit, red fruit, uh, but there's also because of the vintage, a sense of uh, 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 brightness, energy that comes out from it. Let's give it a drink. Mm. Very nice texture. Um, really well made. So this is um, everything I kind of described um, on the nose. It kind of carries into the palate. So let's start, you know, grading this. Uh, complexity, I would say 2014 is not young. It's not old. Most of the notes right here are still on the primary side. I'm going to say that this has good acidity, a uh, good complexity, but not great. So I'm gonna give it a, um, a four out of six on that one. Intensity, there's quite a bit of wine right here. Uh, it's quite powerful. Uh, definitely, you know, not lacking of horsepower right here. So intensity, I'm gonna give it a um, five out of six. Very good. Purity, this is really well made. Uh, there's no uh, kind of weird, you know, kind of uh, manipulation on the wine right here. The fruit profile is uh, is quite, the expression of it is quite clear. Uh, there's a sense of uh, the varietal, the sense of, uh, of a place from Bordeaux. So for the, from a purity point of view, I'm gonna give it very good, five out of six. Uh, the one has good focus. It's a kind of a big wine. It's a lot to kind of bring together, you know, to make it more precise. It, I think it did a good job, not a not a great job. So I'm going to give it a four out of six. Um, this is a well stylized, uh, you know, winemaking right here. Obviously, uh, one of the most famous second growth right here. The the winemaking here is uh, is top notch. Uh, there's a real sense of um, uh, refinement, polishness uh, to the, how this wine is made. Uh, so I'm going to give it, you know, very good, five out of six. Uh, good length, uh, not great length. I'm gonna give it four out of six on the persistence. And overall, for this style, for um, the, the amount of power uh, this this one has, it ha it is it, able to contain the alcohol extremely well. And the, between the tannins, the acidity, the fruit, everything comes together, you know, very well. So I'll give it a five out of six. Uh, very good balance. And uh, lastly, resonance. This wine, I think, is a little bit young, you know, at this stage right now. It doesn't quite have that, you know, extra oomph when it comes to that, you know, sort of a living kind of feeling, uh, ethereal kind of feeling. I can see that in another maybe seven to ten years, maybe with a more secondary, uh, ter you know, tertiary uh, notes coming out, it can get more resonance. But right now, I think the resonance is good. It's not very good. It's not certainly not great. So I'll give it four out of six. Uh, total, I give this wine 36 out of 48. What does that really mean? I have no idea. This is the very first time I'm doing it. As I'm doing more and more of these reviews, I guess that will uh, make more sense. So I think 36 out of 48 is still a very, very good score. How much does this wine cost? 2014 is not really a blockbuster vintage uh, like the uh, 2018, 2019. So I think on the, the market, you know, on the marketplace, these tends to be a bit of a value. And for people who like the quote unquote classic style, uh, actually prefer a little bit of a lift, a little bit of acidity, don't mind a little bit of tartness in their wine, will actually find this to be very, very enjoyable. And uh, the price is actually a little bit less than the 2018, 2019. I am going to guess this is probably can probably find something like this at 2014 for around $80 to $90 if you, you know, look around, that's my guess. So I think value wise, it's good value. It's not great value, but it's good value. I think something that, uh, you know, has a great label recognition, you know, that goes, uh, you know, that says a little bit of something, something there and the wine, the quality is, is still, you know, very, very good for the price. So yeah, that's the wine. Hope you uh, enjoyed it. If you got any recommendations, comments, uh, maybe you think my rating system sucks, you have a better one or whatever, feel free to comment below. That's it. Until next time. Cheers. Bye.